for stopping by. This is Esra. Today's video will be the birdcage that I made using this Dollar Tree fence. I really liked how it turned out. And if you like Shabachik farmhouse decor, you will like this too. You can use this decor in your home, on your coffee table. This would also work perfect for weddings too. Last week when I was on Pinterest, I saw this idea and I wanted to recreate it with my own ways and I'm sharing with you guys. And if you wonder how I made that birdcage, let's dive into my video. First, I started to cut the spikes from the fence by using my scissors and it made a little crack on my spike. So I gave up using my scissors because I need to use those pieces later in my project. And I grabbed my utility knife. I don't have a cutting mat, so I use my cutting board. Make sure you use something to protect the surface you're working on because you need little force to cut the plastic. After you cut all three pieces, keep them because we are going to use them later. I use snowflake color from Apple Barrel. You can find it in Dollar Tree. I am happy that this plastic is gray color because it looks like wrought iron and it helped me getting the effect I want. I am very light handed here. I avoided to apply too much paint for my desired look. The texture of the fence is perfect for making a weathered look with the acrylic paint. Using sponge brush definitely helped with the effect. I intentionally didn't cover the whole surface evenly. After I painted the surface, I let it dry. Meanwhile, I painted my spikes the same way and let them dry. After the surface dried, I turned over the other side to paint. I used the same sponge, but I really recommend using smaller sponge for this. It's really hard to get into the curves with this sponge. So for the tighter curves, I use a smaller brush. Both of the brushes I use here are from Dollar Tree. I must say this project left me feeling a little bit nostalgic. It reminded me my parents' beach house in Istanbul. I'm Turkish in case if you wonder. Their house has a wrought iron swing chairs and the table. In Turkish we say farforje for wrought iron. The word came from French. Anyways, let's get back to the work. After everything dried, I tried to bend my fence, but it's not an easy job. So I decided to cut the pieces, which makes hard to bend. I trimmed the areas that have these triangle shapes. I use utility knife here. Be extra extra careful while trimming these pieces. You can decide if you need to trim more by just bending the fence because I really can't not give the measurement here how much you need to cut it down. Just, just bend it and it should make a pretty much 90 degree. I did same thing for three corners. One of the side has a hinge so you don't need to do that for that corner. You just need to clip it. The hardest part of this project is bending the corners. You shouldn't use too much strength because you can snap it. So I came up with the idea of using my hair dryer. Yes, my hair dryer. I use my hair dryer on high 
I just directly hold my hair dryer for each corners just for a few minutes. I also use the same technique for some pieces just a little bit bend them. Next, I use my Dollar Tree wire to give the dome shape effect. I bend the pieces while twisting my wire. I used it for the old four corners. After I was done with my wire, I just hot glued my three pieces that I cut earlier on top of my cage. Then I use my hot glue to the corners of the wire just in case. To finish up my look, I painted the wires, the hot glue pieces inside and the parts which needed a little bit more paint. And I am done! Now let your imagination go wild and decorate it however you want. I did two examples for you here. For the first one, I used a two-tier tray just to give a little bit of elevation to the cage and I added the garland which I got from Hobby Lobby and the birds and the butterfly are from Dollar Tree. For the second look, I used the same tier tray and my wreath that I made last week. I will put the tutorial link for my read in the description box below. So let me know which one is your favorite. If you like this video, please do not forget to give thumbs up. I'm doing DIYs and shopping hauls on my channel. If you like these things, hit the subscribe button down below. And I will see you next time.